Hello, this is Christy Lepis with the Fishing and Stocking Report for this week here on Crazy Radio. At Alto Lake, fishing for bass was fair to good when using nightcrawler worms. At Bill Evans Lake, fishing for bass was fair to good when using bomber lures. Fishing for crappie was fair to good when using Rapala lures. At Bosque Redondo Lake, fishing for catfish was fair to good when using worms. At Bottomless Lakes, fishing for trout was fair when using power bait. At Caballo Lake, fishing for catfish was fair to good when using cut bait. Fishing for crappie was fair when using small jigs. At Carlsbad Municipal Lake, fishing for bass was good when using crawdad pattern, soft plastic lures, and crankbaits. Fishing for trout was fair when using power bait, worms, and eggs. At Chaparral Park Lake, fishing for bass was good when using Texas rigged, pumpkin green colored plastic worms. At Elephant Butte Lake, fishing for bass was good when using green tubes. Fishing for white bass was very good when using green tubes. Umbrella shad rigs and cream lure jigs. Fishing for crappie was fair when using green tubes. Fishing for catfish was good when using cut shad bait and cut cart bait. At Grindstone Reservoir, fishing for trout was good when using power bait and cast master lures. At Lake Van, fishing for trout was fair when using spinners. At Santa Rosa Lake, fishing for bass was fair when using Senko worms. At the Pecos River, below Sumner Lake, around Six Mile Dam, fishing for bass was good when using Z-Man Slim Swims. As far as stocking goes, The state stocked over 6,100 pounds worth of triploid rainbow trout in several lakes in northern part of the state, Heron Reservoir, and the McGaffey Lake, to name a few. The report also says that Caballo Lake received over 355,000 walleye, but it also says the total weight was three and a third pounds. So either something is very wrong here, or those are some really tiny walleye. And now my favorite part of the report. Our catch of the week is, drum roll please, nine-year-old Albert Segura. He caught a 12-inch rainbow trout using green power bait at Escondida Lake. That's it for this week. Join us next week as we tell you the fishing hotspots and what they are biting on. For Crazy Radio, I'm Christy Lepis, reminding you to take your family fishing.